Hey everybody, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed so far. I really appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about my family and also how I met my husband. So my family, I have a mom and a dad. I'm the oldest. I have one sister and one brother. My sister, she got married four years ago. So I have a brother-in-law. He's awesome. My brother just recently got married in February and I love my sister-in-law. Also, my brother was the first of us to have a child. His son will be three in December. That's crazy to think about. Growing up, we had a pretty good childhood, I would say. Mom and dad were always there for the three of us. And even now, even as we're grown-ups and we don't live at home anymore, they're still there for us, which is awesome. And then myself, I got married actually last September. So I've been married for eight months now. And my husband and I just found out in February that we're going to have our first child. So we're pretty excited about that. So going back to how I met my husband, uh, let's rewind the clock to 2014. I was, I've previously used um, online dating services in the past and unfortunately things never worked out for me. I never seemed to find the right guys. I always seemed to find the wrong ones. So this was about the summer of 2014, like the end of July, August. I told myself I was done. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I need a break. Because the guys that I'm meeting, just it's not working out and I'm just done. And it's funny, my dad actually talked me into going back to the online dating sites. He's like, oh, you got to get back on the horse. You got to find somebody. You will meet somebody. You never know when it'll happen. So I was like, all right, fine. So I went back onto um, the dating website Plenty of Fish and not too long after I joined someone messaged me by the name of Andrew and he seemed really cute and really nice and seemed interesting so I decided to write him back and we spent that entire night writing back to each other. This was August 23rd at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And we spent like maybe like two hours talking to each other. It was pretty good. And then even the next day we were talking to each other. And then that was like a Friday night. Maybe we first started talking. And then Sunday we actually started talking on the phone. I was like, ooh, I really like his voice. <laughs> so then we spent that rest of the week just talking, talking, talking about everything. Anything and everything we could think of to talk about. And it turns out we had a lot of things in common. We both love music. We both love movies. We both love going to concerts. We both had tattoos. We both wore glasses. And even more interesting, we both had learning disabilities that we overcame. So that was definitely something that, I guess, kept us together. So then, fast forward to like a week later, we decided to go out on a date. So this was August 30th. And this was by far the best first date I've ever been on. Like no joke at all. So we met at a mall. He actually picked me up. He actually came, well, I was in the mall shopping actually and then he came in into the mall. We actually hugged each other and he even carried my bags at the car which I was like wow. And then he opened the, he actually opened the door to lead out to the parking lot and then he opened the door of his car. And then on the way to our first stop, we actually went to Cheesecake Factory for like a late lunch, early dinner. On the way there, he put on Taylor Swift for me just so I'd be more comfortable. Which, as you all know me, I love Taylor, so that was perfect for me. So then next, we went to Cheesecake Factory. That was really good. Then after we finished eating, we decided to go miniature golfing. Which was a lot of fun because we were just talking and goofing around and then after the mini golf we decide to go bowling I know this is pretty pretty good first date if you're doing three things at one time so we went bowling and it was kind of cute when we were bowling whenever like we would get like a strike or a spare we would high five each other and if like we missed any pins or whatever we actually hug each other it was really cute so then after bowling we went to nifty fifties to get milkshakes 
we took them to go actually. And then to end the night, we went to a playground near my house and we just sat there talking for like two hours, drinking our milkshakes. And we took our first picture together there. So like I said, that was the first, best first date I've ever been on because he refused to let me pay for anything, anything. So that's how you know you have a keeper when the guy refuses to let you pay for anything on the date. And we did a lot of things on that date. So it was awesome. So then, so yeah, first date ended. He actually let me borrow his jacket because when we were outside at the park. And then we continued talking. And at, at actually that time, I started going back to school to get my master's degree at Holy Family. So for our second date, he actually picked me up from Holy Family because I had a night class. Picked me up from there. We went to Chickie and, P and Pete's for dinner. And it's funny, we were both really, really, really nervous during the second date because we had decided to have our first kiss take place this night, which was another thing that never happened before. We never planned the first kiss. It just always happened beforehand. And it was nice that we actually planned it this time. I mean, with Andrew in the past with other guys, it just happened. We never planned it. So anyway, back to that. So after Chickens and Feeds, we actually went to another playground. It was like near the Delaware River. So we're just walking around, we're like super nervous. It was so sweet. So then we find a bench to sit on and we're just sitting there staring at each other and we're like, just kind of got to go for it. So we did and it was a great first kiss. And then as we were actually walking back to the car, it started raining. So we actually kissed again and that, oh my God, that was amazing, kissing in the rain. <laughs> then we spent the rest of the time in his car kissing too for a little bit. And then he took me back home. And then our third date, I actually had gone to a wedding. We weren't ready for him to meet a lot of my family and friends yet, so I didn't invite him to go with me. So after the wedding, he came over to my house. We hung out for a little bit, and then we were hungry, so we went to IHOP to get pancakes. And then we actually went back to the Delaware River again, and it actually rained again, so that was kind of perfect. Then... Our next date, he actually met my parents. He picked me up from school. We went back to my house. He met my parents. He got a tour of my house, or my parents' house, I should say. My parents seemed to like him, so that was a good thing. And he actually met my brother, too. But actually, after our second date, my sister was coming home from work when Andrew was dropping me off, so she kind of got to meet him then. So then... The fifth date, we actually went out to dinner for my dad's birthday. We went to Georgine's for dinner, and he went with us. And then we actually went to a bar afterwards and played Quizzo. And we were going to go back to the river, but I don't think we did. Yeah, I think we just decided to call it a night. Because then the next night, well, the next day, I actually had a Saturday morning class for school. So I had to go to that. Then I came home from that, took a nap. Andrew picked me up, and we actually went over to meet his parents. They seemed to like me, so that was a good thing. And then he actually got to meet two of my best friends and my best friend's boyfriend at the time, who's now her husband. See, so yeah, we went to a concert. That was a lot of fun. And it was actually, we were talking, like, before the concert happened, and we were thinking, maybe we want to make this official. So we decided to wait till after he met my friends and after the concert. And he, we were, it's kind of cute. He said, I want to ask you to be my girlfriend. I'm like, that's perfect because I want to ask you to be my boyfriend. So after the concert, we're walking back to the car. We're getting to the parking lot. And he actually stopped walking. He's like, can we stop for a second? I'm like, sure. And he's like, will you be my girlfriend? I'm like, yes. Will you be my boyfriend? He said, yes. So this was September 13th, 2014. Is when we made our relationship official. And we had a great first year together. We did a lot of things. We got to celebrate our first Halloween together. We were, um, I was Catwoman and he was the Joker from The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. We got to celebrate Thanksgiving together. I spent it with him and his family. So I got to meet a lot of his family then. And then Christmas, we think we did both. We hung out with my family and his family, which was nice. And then we got to spend New Year's together so I got my very first New Year's kiss well so did he because 
Another fun fact, I was Andrew's very first girlfriend, which made me feel very, very special. Unfortunately, Andrew was not my first boyfriend, but he was honestly the best out of all the ones I've had. There's not too many. There was only two serious boyfriends, but yeah, Andrew was the best. So then, actually first year, I got to meet Andrew's brother and sister-in-law. They came to town. So I got to meet them because they lived in Arizona. Still live in Arizona. Then we got to celebrate our first Valentine's Day together. We went to a concert. We went to see Nickelback and the Pretty Reckless. Actually in Allentown. We rented a hotel room for the night. And we went out to dinner beforehand. We found this little like mom and pop Italian place. It was actually really good. Because we tried to go to Chickies and Pete's. But it was like a two hour wait. We're like no we're not going to wait that long. So yeah, we found this other place that was really good. And the concert was really good. And then, yeah, we had a really good time together for our first Valentine's Day. And then for Easter, I believe we spent it with his family. And then we got to celebrate our birthdays together. So Andrew's birthday is in May. So for his birthday, we actually went, we had a lot of things to do. We went to a concert, saw Avengers movie, and we went back to another concert. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then my birthday, we had a party at my parents' house. My friends came over, Andrew came over, and his parents came over, which was really nice. And then we spent the summer just swimming in my backyard because my parents have a pool. Then we got to celebrate our first anniversary together, which was really cool. Oh, we have a special guest. This is Groot. I talked about him in my last video. He's trying to say hi. I'm talking about me and daddy, right? You never heard this story because sadly you weren't around yet. Anyway. So then we'll fast forward past the second year. Third year comes. And well, actually during our second year, we actually really started talking about getting engaged. We were very, very serious about each other and we knew we wanted to be with each other like forever. So we were talking about it and then third year comes and I'm waiting for a ring. I know I got upset a few times at Andrew because I'm like, I want my ring, I want to be engaged. <laughs> so finally it happened, November 22nd, 2017. This was the night before Thanksgiving. Andrew picked me up from work. We were in the car and he decides to propose right then and there. He's like, can we stop for a sec? I'm like, okay, what's up? He's like, you know how much I love you, how much I want to be with you. Elizabeth Catherine Ford, will you marry me? And I'm like, I was shocked. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was coming. I just didn't know when it was coming. So I was very, very happy. And it's pretty awesome because Andrew picked out the ring all by himself. I didn't give him any hints whatsoever. The only thing I told him was I didn't want something big and it didn't, I really didn't, I don't like gold. I'm not a gold fan, even though this is gold, but it's white gold. So yeah, it was, oh my gosh, I wasn't, I'm still in love with this ring. I've, been, I've had it almost three years now. So yes, we got engaged and then before Thanksgiving, we told everybody, everybody was so happy for us. So then we had to really get crunching on wedding planning time. Also, at this time, I was still in school. So I was like, I need to graduate before we get married. That was one thing I wanted to do. So yes, I did graduate with my master's degree. So we planned our wedding, actually for September 13th, 2019, our five year anniversary. So we were engaged for almost two years. So it was like a year and a half, a little longer. Yeah, we knew we wanted to get married in a church. We actually have a family friend that's a priest that we wanted to marry us. Andrew asked his brother to be the best man. I asked my sister to be the matron of honor. Because we were... Andrew was his brother's best man and I was my sister's maid of honor. So, of course, we had to ask our siblings. And then I had my three best friends. My brother's fiance, who's now my sister-in-law. And then Andrew's sister-in-law, who's now my sister-in-law too. And then for him, he asked my brother, two of our guy friends, and then two of his cousins. 
And then for the ring bearer, we had asked our nephew Shepard, who lives in Arizona, and then we asked my cousin Daphne to be the flower girl. So the colors I originally wanted were red and gray. I was going to have three girls wear red dresses, three girls wear gray dresses, but unfortunately the dress that the girls really, really liked didn't come in red. So I had a compromise, we went with the gray dresses and they actually wore red shoes. And then our theme was Beauty and the Beast. At the tables we had the um, enchanted rose with the lights and the rose, it was really cool. And then, so yeah, we got married. Been married for eight months now. And in the middle of wedding planning, last year we actually bought a house. We looked at about nine houses, I believe. I think this was number four or five. I'm not exactly sure of the number, but yeah, we fell in love with this house. We knew we wanted to live here because it had everything we wanted. Three bedrooms, a finished basement, um, a kitchen, obviously, dining room, living room, bathrooms. And we have a front yard. It's pretty decent, I would say. We don't have a backyard, sadly. We have, it's an alleyway, but that's okay. So yeah, we bought a house, right? This was two months, no, three months before we got, June. Yeah, three months before we got married. So then we had my bridal shower in August. So we were able to bring all the stuff that we got from the shower into our new house, which definitely helped. And then, Obviously, September came. We got married. The wedding was beautiful. It was awesome. Honestly, the best day of my life. I felt like a princess. Andrew looked like Prince Charming, so it was perfect for me. So then after our wedding, we actually went to Disney World for our honeymoon. Me and Andrew are big Disney fans. So, of course, going there made sense. We had so much fun. My favorite part was definitely going to Universal Studios to see the Harry Potter world. Because I had gone 10 years previously. That was the last time I was there. And they were just building it. So I never got to see it. So I was so excited to see it then. So we had a great time. We were there for a week. I was sad to come home. But sadly it was time to come home. So we came home. We actually got a puppy. But unfortunately things didn't work out with the puppy. So we had to get the puppy back. So then we were deciding what to do with about pet wise. And then... This past January, we decided to get a cat, and that's why we have Groot now. And then since our wedding, we actually been trying to get pregnant, and then finally it happened. In February, I took two pregnancy tests, and they both came out positive. I saw the doctor. The doctor confirmed it. I'm due October 8th, 2020. We are keeping the gender a surprise. We don't want to find out. We have names picked out. Well, at least the girl name. There's two boy names we really like. We just haven't decided which one yet. But we're going to keep them a surprise too. Our theme is going to be Winnie the Pooh. Obviously keeping it Disney. And that's gender neutral. And we are very excited to become parents. That's something that we've always talked about ever since we even started dating. Something we knew we wanted, wanted to get married. Wanted to have a family. So yeah. So that's the story of my family and how I met my husband and then where we are now. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry it's kind of long. I was talking a lot. But I'll see you guys soon. And please definitely subscribe if you like what you saw. And see you guys soon. Bye.